Okay, we've been gone all weekend. We've gone for about three days. Come back home, and you know, here's all my hives sitting here, several of them sitting here. And off way down there, there's a swarm hanging in a tree. And I'm just now getting ready to work on seeing if I can get enough ladder to get up there and get it. But I decided to walk up there and check all my pine trees, and I hear all these bees flying. I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but there's a lot of bees flying right here like there's a swarm getting ready or something going on. So I thought I could see if I could work my way out here. I've seen swarms on the ground, and this is my turnip field. I mean, these things are waist higher, taller, but there's a lot of bees seem to be circling right over here. I'll hold my camera still so you can see them. And I have seen swarms on the ground before. But why are all these bees flying around if the swarm's on the ground? I don't know. I'm going to work my way in here. I've already, I've already been in here once. And I saw them. So I can get in and out of here. And maybe they were sitting here on the ground. And one of my dogs came out here or something. I don't know. I'm not sure if you can see it. But it looks like there's a swarm laying here on the ground that's been disturbed or something. So my thought is, I'm going to go get a hive box and set it right there. And see if I can get those to go inside. What I'm going to guess mm -hmm. is this hive swarmed and these are all the bees trying to look for a place to live and the queen has got hurt and went down right there. That's what happened to me last year. And she's down right there on the ground and she can't fly and they're just hanging with her. Because there shouldn't be this many scout bees out flying. So something has went wrong. But I'm going to go get a hive and set it right there. First I'm going to go get my suit on. And go get me a hive and set it there and see if All I can right, catch it. Well, like I told you before, we've been gone for a few days. And I came up and there was a swarm laying on the ground out here in the field. And I showed you that on the video, but now I'm trying to get in position to catch a swarm out of a tree. And I walk back up my field and I see this. There's bees everywhere. And I look over at one of my nukes that I started. And it appears they're coming out of my nuke. They're not coming out of a full size hive. And the problem is with that, is those queens just hatched like four days ago. So they would have went out and mated and came back. And I don't know why this nuke is swarming. But, uh, well, look at them piling out of there. there must, they must have been really crowded in there. So I might have to let that nuke reset and catch this swarm, or catch this swarm and capture the queen and put her in a queenless hive that I have. Well, I see some drones flying around nice and low and heavy, and these bees are heavy. They're having trouble flying. But that's what swarms do. But here it is Sunday, and there's supposed to be a terrible storm today. This afternoon, I can't believe they're swarming with this barometer going up and down. My bet is they're going to go right back in this hive. Or they're going to grab the tallest tree limb they can find and get in it. But my bet is they're going to come right back in this hive. I'm going to walk through them and walk over here in the field. It looks like they're about done coming out of the box. And see if that pile is still over here in the field. Because I think it's a queen. It's down on the ground. I should have back traced my steps from a while ago. But I think I about know. No, it was farther on up here. Let me look real quick. I'm going to keep this running. Walking through all my turnips. Oh, there's some clover. And there's more clover. Well, that's good to see. But I'm walking up through here. I got a big dragonfly thing. See if I can see where that swarm was laying on the ground to see if they're still there all balled up. I'm trying to find my... Oh, I think they were right over here. I was trying to see if I can smell them. Boy, I was thinking they were right here. I don't see one bee flying around that. Oh, there they are right there. Look at that. Is this not crazy or what? So above this in the air a while ago, there was bees everywhere. 
and now they're all down here on the ground. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a box and put it right here by them and see if I can get these bees to march into a box. And of course, I'm going to look around for the queen while I'm there. But I got a box ready, so maybe this is a swarm. I got a swarm in that other tree. And then I got this swarm going right now. I'm going to go ahead and go get my suit and stuff and see if I can keep an eye on these and see where they go. Okay, so I shot this video just a few minutes ago. And I mean like 15, 20 minutes ago maybe. And these bees were swarming out of this nuke. And they were pouring out of there like water. And that's what... Okay, had to panic there. I've had surgery on my fingers and a bee landed on my finger and I didn't want it to sting me on my sore finger. So we had to abort the phone for a second. But we're back at it. <clears throat> So this swarm came out. When we got here, I just saw it flying up in the air, and there's still a lot of bees in the air. They went over the top of this cedar tree, came back down the other side of this cedar tree, and now they're working their way back in the box. And this box must be exploding with bees. So the only thing I can think of was when I split that hive number 21 right there, and I put frames over in nuke 56, and then I put frames over in this other nuke. There might have been a queen cell already started, or I might have trans... I don't think I transferred the queen, because box 21 is still showing eggs in it. So there might have been a queen cell started, or that queen has hatched early on me, and I just didn't notice it. Some, something's gone crazy. So right now, all my nukes, their queen should be coming back from their mating flight. They hatched last week. Uh, I haven't been inside of them because I didn't want to break the queen cells. But they should have hatched like on the 23rd, and I think today is the 26th, 27th, it's Sunday. Here this severe weather's moving in, and here all these bees are doing this crazy stuff. I got a swarm hanging in a tree down there where my tractor is and my boat. And I got this nuke right here swarming. And if I spin around, I hear in the field, I got this swarm laying on the ground. So I'll put a box out here. Let me grab my smoker here. Looks like it might have went out. We'll see. Puff it, my pine needles a little damp. See if they're marching in this box yet. And they're not. I didn't expect them to yet, but they've got closer to it. So I'm gonna see if I can get some smoke going and I'm gonna get my gloves on and see if I can pour some of those bees in that box. And if so, I'm gonna walk off and leave them and let them sit there and march. And I just put a hive here. I've got drawn out comb and some foundation in it. I hadn't put any protein. I hadn't put anything like that in it, but they're just now getting on the front ledge. So I'm going to help them out here a little bit and I'm going to get them to move, get them to move. And I'm going to put my glove on first, but, uh, we're going to try to get these moving into the box. And then I got another box ready. If that swarm over there goes all the way back in that nuke, I might try to split them right now and put them in another box lock them in and take them up to my land and set them down or something get them away from here and i'm gonna go down there and catch that swarm out of that tree for hopefully this thunderstorm moves in i wish i would have videoed me doing it but all i did is i just reached down there and got a handful and pushed them up to the door now as you can see i'll just hold steady on the door see them marching that way i didn't do anything I didn't put anything in the inside of that hive. It does not have honey in it. It does have drawn out comb, some dark comb. But this swarm was laying on the ground and I sure would like to see if I could see the queen. This is only maybe the third swarm I've ever seen on the ground. But several of them are just marching right in the door and I'm not even gonna give them any smoke. I'm gonna let them do their thing. Some of them are kind of dogpiled there on the door, but other ones are just marching around them and march them right in. The world of beekeeping. And I'm sitting here breathing, and it's, the humidity is really high. It's in the 80s, high humidity, thunderstorm rolling in, and I'm fogging up my glasses trying to sit here and breathe, but... uh. We're just going to sit here and watch for a little bit. Maybe I can re-watch the video and see if I see the queen. Get my smoker a couple of puffs here because I'm going to need it. I'm trying to keep it going. got some wet pine needles in it. 
And I might have scooped her and put her in there in that first scoop. But you just never know. But I split every hive I had except maybe one that wasn't strong enough to split. And I have several hives. Put them all in the nukes hoping not to get a swarm but just like I said it's in the blood of the bee to swarm. And my numbers have been getting bigger and bigger and I've been adding honey supers and trying to get ready for honey season and building other things and trying to go on vacation and enjoy life. And been catching swarms and helping other people catch swarms but uh, one of my hives decided to go ahead and swarm and this might be one of my nukes. I haven't seen a queen go by yet. She might be here in this little cluster. Let's see if I can get the. Yeah, I got a flower right on my lens. Let's see if I can move this cluster around my finger. See if I might accidentally see her. They seem like really gentle bees. I hadn't had any in my face. Some on my hands here, but. They seem real gentle. But they're marching in there. And now, you know, you got this little crazy rule about three feet or three miles. And now I'm even seeing a bee sitting there fanning. Oh, uh, it just quit. But you know, you got that crazy rule about three feet or three miles. And this hive sitting flat on the ground out in the middle of my field, and I don't like that. So what I'll do, I'll let these bees get in here, and then we're supposed to have severe thunderstorms tonight, then tomorrow, <coughs> oh my choker's about, smoker's about to choke me, and then tomorrow, uh, it's supposed to be only 20% chance of rain, so what I'll do, I might pick this up and go move it tomorrow, might come back out here tonight or early in the morning and see if they're all in there, if they are, I'll block off the door, put a strap around it, throw it in a truck. But uh, I sure wish I had the time to sit here and look for this queen. I see another bee fanning, just sitting there fanning. She's still doing it. So I'm not going to, and I see more bees sitting here fanning right over here on this side. Got their butts up in there and they're fanning outward. So they're fanning that queen pheromone outward. They're acting like she's in there. And now there's more. Now I see five or six lined up and doing it. <coughs> oh man, I got to smooth my smoker out of my breath killing me so I'm gonna guess she decided she liked that and walked on in there and she's gonna set up house and because I have drawn out comb in there she'll be able to start laying right away now hopefully these other bees will get to fanning what's that group right there would go in They're hanging on to that one piece of grass This without smashing anybody. Get off there. I see that queen could have been on that piece of grass right there, and that's why they won't move off of it. I see a couple more sitting there with a fanning with their butt up there. So eventually, all these bees right here should move in. So, I, like I said, I'm not going to do any smoking. Because I want them to go back in there. I want them to uh, go back in there. I want them to go in there by their own decision. And they're slowly going. It'll just take them some time. And as this weather moves in, they better pick up the pace. So I got to pick up the pace. So let's go back and look at our nukes, see what's going on. I think I was running this when I walked over here. So I'm kind of looking up in the trees to see if I see a swarm hanging. And I don't. I'm going to go back to this nuke and look. There's bees fanning. They're pheromone out. So I'm guessing they're saying whatever queen was there went back in. And then you people say all the time, I got bees on the bottom of my hive. And look at there. So I'm hoping with this weather, they're going to all get back in there and weather tonight. 
And I mean, it's supposed to be in the 70s tomorrow. And the first thing tomorrow, I'm going to get out here and split the dog out of them if I don't do it tonight. And I'm not going to mess with these bees hanging down here. I'm not going to try to scoop them and put them back in there. Nothing like that. I'm just going to leave them alone and let bees do what they do. Because they'll probably eventually move up in there and be crowded just for the night. So that queen might be sitting right down there. But I likely doubt it. With all their butts sitting there fanning like that, pointing outward, I likely doubt that the queen's down there. We'll just give them a little bit of smoke, get them off of that block, get them to move up there. I hear I just said I wasn't going to do anything. I was going to let bees be bees, but since this weather's moving in, I thought I might encourage them to get their butt in gear. And they're crawling all around that center block. They might go inside that center block. These are solid bottom nukes. They don't have screens on the bottom. Uh, they just have a couple of saw marks just for some air ventilations, and that's it. So there's not a lot of odor coming out of that. And there's a piece of uh, flooring tile holding this nuke up off of this cinder block. So there's a little space up underneath there. But I'm going to stop you so this won't get too long, and then I'm going to take you down here to the trailer. So let me back up here a little bit. I got my, my tractor hooked up to my pontoon boat, hooked up to the hitch so I could have it good and level because I can raise and lower the hitch. Uh, the boat was pretty off level. We drove it up on a big rock over here to raise it up a little bit higher. And then we put a ladder up in here. And there's a bee swarm hanging right, right up there by that ladder. I think you can see it in the video. It's kind of dark. It's getting dark. But if I climb up that ladder and stay about three steps from the top, I've got a snake stick that I can reach out and grab stuff with, or a tree trimming tool. I can reach up there and grab that swarm and drop it right into a five gallon bucket. And then I can smoke that tree limb and I should be able to get about 99% of them. Like I said, the weather's moving in, so everybody's coming back home for the night. Like I need to too, I need to get to a storm shelter here. Van Buren's already opened up their tornado shelters. So we need to wrap this up. I'm not seeing anything bad developing over our head right now. It's just getting a little dusk, but uh, I'm gonna get up there and knock this thing off, but you know, we're talking about safety in the bee club. Don't be risking your life trying to catch a swarm. And I don't feel I'm being too risky here. This is a big pontoon boat and I hadn't put it in the water in five years and now I found a good use for it. Standing, putting a ladder in it, catching swarms. And I'll probably just keep that ladder in there so I can catch swarms around my property. I have a bigger ladder, but I decided I'd go ahead with this one. And I should be able to climb up there. My helper got a bee in his hair while I go and had to take off running. So, but right over there where that truck is, is where all the other swarm activity is going. So I got three swarms going at the same time. So, climbed up on the ladder, shook that tree limb, and you still see there's quite a few bees flying around. I shook that tree limb, and I dropped the bees on the other half of that bucket. Put the lid on, turned it up, turned it over, took this yellow lid off, you got it laying over here. Took this yellow lid off, and you can see, in here, speakers, microphone pointed the right way. That's the bees on the other side of that screen. And now these bees here, I didn't put them in there. They're just starting to smell that queen. And you can start to see bees sitting around the edge of that board fanning. And yeah, I dumped some bees out on the ground up here, out on the floor of the boat. But they're slowly getting up. And they're flying around here. So we got bees flying up in the air, but hopefully this odor will get spread around here enough. They'll get back down in here. And we got bees sitting right on the edge, fanning their butt, fanning that odor. Those bees down in there are fanning up to the edge, and these bees are fanning it out. So hopefully all these bees flying around here eventually go inside this bucket. Since we're at my house, I can wait. And I'll try to catch as many of these as we could. For some reason I was sitting on the side of the highway or somewhere in a bad position or a long drive away. I'd sit around as long as I could stand it. And then I'd go ahead and close the bucket and leave. And these bees would have to just fend for themselves. 
but they're slowly filling it up. And hopefully when I come back down here later, there'll be two or three hundred bees in there. Okay, so you remember a while ago, let's see where my camera lens is. We just walked by this hive just a couple of minutes ago. There's bees all out on the porch waiting to go in. Bees all up underneath. Did I put the smoke on? Now look. They have all crammed themselves back inside there. They swarmed out of that box. They went all over the cedar tree. And they went back inside that box. And this was just, I mean, just five, ten minutes. All I did is I walked down there to that boat. And I shook that tree limb and put that swarm in that bucket. Walked back right back up here and look. Now we're starting to get some thunder. So that tells me I need to keep moving. And it told these bees they need to get their butt in the box. So now let's walk back up here. Look at this hive. And all these hives are just getting back in the box. There are hardly any bees flying. They know what's coming. And we know what's coming too. We've got to get going. Let's go check these out on the ground here. See what we're doing here. See if they're still moving in or moving out. And I'm seeing some fanning. But this is not progressing as fast as I would like. So I'm going to see about getting some more. Just nice and easy. I don't want to hurt nobody. Coach them up there to the door. Remember, they're all hanging on to each other. So they're kind of hard to move. See if I can just pull that turnip up. Ooh, it's stuck in the ground pretty good. See if I can just keep brushing them up in there. Because remember, they're all hung on to each other. And boy, they're hung on to each other. They're hung on to each other tight. Now, I'm letting y'all know, y'all need to get y'all butt in the box. It's going to rain, tornadoes. Now that stirred them up pretty good. Oh, got one hit me right on the face. But I got my veil on, so I'm good to go. After seeing Stacy's son, I definitely don't want to be stung in the eye. So there's still a small group way out here. Let's see if I can stir them up a little bit. Get them moving. I'm going to hit them with some smoke. Way out here. See if I can get them not to like this grass anymore. Kill that queen over that was way out here. And get them going inside that box. I said a while ago I wasn't going to do that, but I'm just trying to move them along a little bit faster. You can tell the smoke's not leaving very fast. The wind's not blowing and the humidity is high. <coughs> Everything's laying <laughs> low. Well, I think I helped them along. A lot of bees right at the entrance. Come on, girls, get in there. I'm still not seeing any sign of any queen. I ain't even seen a drone yet. I'm sure there's one down there, but... This is a hive box. This is where you want to live. Hint, hint. Get in. Oh, I see one drone way out here. I still see them marching in there. I've got about 10 different locations to put beehives. I'm not trying to put 100 at each location. I'm just trying to put three or four at each location. It's relatives and gardeners that I know that I'm good friends with, and we're all trading and swapping and just trying to stay on the good side of each other, and I'm the only beekeeper out of the bunch. One guy's planted probably 50, 60 apple trees and a big garden. Another guy's planted a small garden, and another guy's just in a great location. One's a little bit closer inside city limits, and I'm going to try to put one up there to see see if uh, see if a hive up there survives with going into city limits. I mean, other people have hives in city limits, so it's no big deal. I just want to see how good it'd do on honey. But here we are at about a five-minute video, and that's about as long as I like to push them. But I still see bees sitting there fanning like they're supposed to be doing. And I'm going to keep an eye on this. I think it's approaching about 6 o'clock. 
not 100% sure, maybe 6.30, and I'm getting awful thirsty. So I am going to take a break, get me some water, and go ahead and get a big rock to put on top of this so the lid won't blow off for the storms and get prepared for the, night, the bad night of weather. I need to do some computer work, but we can't do it tonight. My son said the computer won't turn on anyway, so i got to go investigate that too. But we're at five minutes, so I'm going to abort this. And tomorrow morning my plan is is to block these in here and move them to another location. And uh, hopefully they'll stay. Because it's a pretty good size swarm. I'm liking the size of it. And uh, also I'm going to uh, see what I can do about that nuke in the morning because it wants to swarm. 